clearly on paper um, if, if both players were healthy and both players were you know functioning the way they they were capable of it was a fantastic backcourt pairing you know two playmaking guards two scorers two two guys that you know played with pace played with energy um, shot making ability in Penny's uh, situation you know a, a, a prolific scorer in, in, in his prime uh, with the bounce that he had in his prime. It, it was a, a really an interesting and unique combination. Although both combustible, both have egos, I think they really wanted to make it work. But health played a huge part in not allowing that to happen. Jason Kidd up top of the key. Kidd bounces the ball at the baseline. To Penny Hardaway, wham, bam, slam. What a play. Oh, brother. A very exciting time for us to say that uh, Penny Hardaway is now a Phoenix Sun. Uh, with Penny, there was a lot of excitement. I was excited. I thought uh, this was going to be someone that could help me, uh, you know, make the game a lot easier. Understanding Penny's talents and what he did in Orlando to help them win. All of a sudden, I really believe that this puts us as one of the elite teams in the NBA, and our expectations are much higher than they were a week ago. Jason is uh, by far, to me, the best point guard in the NBA. I mean, he's, he's a great guy. He, he's very unselfish. Uh, I've known him and uh, had a relationship with him before uh, even thinking about coming to Phoenix. And uh, it was always uh, a thought in the back of my mind, wanting to play with a the, with the point guard of, of that magnitude. Kid starting to back down. A nice bounce pass for Hardaway, who scores. What a pass by Kid to Hardaway. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, Jason's obviously a first ballot Hall of Fame player. There's no question about it. I mean, he just made everybody better on the court. Um, his vision, um, his size, his speed, triple-double every night. I mean, he was just that dynamic of a player. And then, obviously, Penny was an incredible talent. Um, injuries kind of sidetracked his career, but um, phenomenal player. You know, athletic at the point guard position, played above, way above the rim. Um, great passer, great vision, and both those guys just had tremendous feel for the game, but obviously Penny was slowed down just because of the injuries. Oh, I know it was a dynamic backcourt. You know, you had two of the better point guards in the league, Penny 6'8", long. Both could, you know, play off the ball and on the ball. Um, I think you had two very gifted guards, uh, physically talented, skills talented, and the way they thought the game on another level. We never got a chance to even see if they were truly a good mix or not. And that was unfortunate because of, because of injuries to you know, Penny. And well, Penny Hardaway gave it a shot, but that left knee just would not cooperate. But it was amazing though, even playing on one leg, what Penny Hardaway could do at about 50% of his capacity as he dragged around that left leg, gave it a shot this season for the Suns, played four games, but now back on the injured list. By the time we got Penny, his knees were really bad uh, and getting worse um, but he still had nights where you talk about a guy who could play I mean talent um, and he and Jason would have been fantastic together if we if we'd have had Penny you know from two three years earlier uh, they were would have been scary good uh, in the same backcourt together for an extended period it would have been amazing to see them stay healthy and play at their best together, a precursor to what they have in our full court. And unfortunately with the injuries, it just never happened. And, uh, but it was uh, something that I thought was going to you know, be something for a long time. And uh, if we could have stayed healthy, uh, it probably would have been special.